Hi. Do you want to play a game? Do you want to play hide and clap? So, um, I don't know if you guys noticed but my lighting seems kind of different that's because I'm recording this review in daytime um, because usually I do I record my videos uh, at 2 in the morning but after this movie um, I'm afraid my good friend Valak might be knocking on my window <laughs> hey there guys how are you uh, welcome to my review of the nun so in preparation for this movie I rewatched both the conjuring movies you know just to refresh my memory a little um, I actually didn't watch the first conjuring um, but I did watch the second so I watched the first conjuring for the first time and I thought it was a creepy ass movie man <sighs> so obviously the first two conjuring movies was directed by James Wan and I thought they were excellent horror movies you know and even movies in general I mean anyone can enjoy this I mean unless you're afraid of horror movies um, like I used to be I mean it's not until like what two years ago I was like literally afraid to watch horror movies but you know now I'm sort of okay so this is actually the first time that I watched a horror movie like on my own uh, usually it's with you know friends or family or at least one person you know right beside me to keep me company <laughs> yep so this time you know I grew a sack manned up and watched it for the sake of this review so um, I don't know if you guys um, stayed till the end of Annabelle creation but there was an end credit scene where we got a little hint of the nun probably getting her own movie and lo and behold that creepy bastard got her own movie <sighs> so uh, what's the nun about well basically uh, when a nun when a younger nun sorry uh, from the abbey which is a place in Romania um, it's basically like this creepy castle um, mysteriously commits suicide the priest from Vatican City and sister Irene have to investigate um, the mysterious death of this young nun so of course in their quest to uh, investigate and discover what happened with that young nun they come across some demons and of course Valak so once they um, you know confront Valak and stuff they have to find a way to seal her back in hell from where that bitch came from <laughs> oh man she's such a creepy bastard I swear every every scene she's in just creep me the fuck out man <sighs> so if you guys aren't familiar with who sister Irene is well she's essentially a uh, Lorraine from the conjuring movies um, she was played by Vera Farmiga but this in this movie um, the younger self uh, she was played by Tysa Farmiga Oh my god, I'm absolutely butchering their names. <laughs> so yeah, even in the in the movie, the younger self of uh, Lorraine was played by Tysa Fermiga and I kind of noticed that they look really similar. So obviously I googled it and they happen to be sisters in real life. So yeah. So actually during the movie, um, I took notes. Yeah, as you can see, it's all really messed up. Um, if you can see closely, this is the holy shit count. It's about actually about eight times but i didn't quite record it because uh, i was invested in the movie um good scares about twice like i mean like really good scares that make me jump out of my seat like two times probably two times and jump scares um about there were a couple of times i mean you, i mean jump scares are just things you can't help it you know it's this loud sound you know it's all silent for a few seconds and then this loud sound comes in so obviously you can't help it so jump scares there's about two and this is the scream count and what i mean by this is the amount of times i screamed while watching this movie and it just all happens to be one <laughs> so you can even see that uh, my notes are like messed up i mean i didn't take much notes because uh, it was hard to see and i wanted to focus on the movie um yeah 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 and i do not know how this came on my book uh, I promise you I did not write this so yeah 
Alright, so obviously this is a horror movie and you guys want to know if it's scary or not. Well, in my opinion, I do think um, the Conjuring movies felt more creepier and scarier compared to The Nun. So, I mean, The Nun has always been creepy. I mean, she was first established in the in Conjuring 2 and I was and that to me was like the scariest scenes in The Conjuring 2. And I mean, every scene that Valak is in, holy shit, it's creepy as hell. I mean, they, if you guys remember the score they played for the nun in Conjuring 2, well, they used that same score in here. And holy shit, every time, you know, the Valak appears on screen and they start playing that score, my god, was it creepy. I, I, I was like literally sat alone with no one beside me, so, you know, obviously I was pretty scared. <laughs> So there was this scene in this, uh, in the movie. Uh, it was during the third act when you know Valak was full fledged demonic, and so Sister Irene was in this chapel, you know, uh, saying her prayers, trying to get rid of this nun. And obviously she was alone, and it was not enough. And so the doors open, boom! You know, this whole bunch of nuns come in like the fucking cavalry, and like, they start praying. And you know, I mean, it's time to take out the fucking demon, man. So they all start praying, and it just feels like yes, the cavalry has arrived to get rid of this fucking demon yeah so i found that scene really entertaining <laughs> now um there were obviously a, a couple of issues i found with this movie um the story was kept uh, quite simple you know there were there weren't many um characters in this movie it j basically just focused on you know sister irene and father burke yeah so i didn't quite uh, latch on with these characters as much as I did in the Conjuring movies. So to be fair, uh, both the Conjuring movies was um, about a family and so you could uh, latch on with them and it also there, it felt like the nun had something uh, you know missing like the likability of Patrick Wilson. I mean I thought, um, I thought uh, the character of Patrick Wilson definitely was the standout in both the Conjuring movies. So even the character development in this movie wasn't quite uh, as deep as both the Conjuring movies yeah so I didn't quite um, you know connect with this movie as much as I did with the previous two movies yeah I know I'm doing a lot of comparisons with the Conjuring movies but you know obviously I have to since The Nun is the prequel to the Conjuring movies so uh, I'm sure your question is is this movie scarier than its predecessors well um, not really i did feel that um both the previous uh, films were slightly more scarier however you know the obviously this movie is about the nun you know valak is fucking scary on her own and every scene she she's in definitely creep me out but still it's not quite as uh, scary as the first two conjuring movies so despite my minor issues with this movie i still think this is definitely one of the better horror movies out there um it was directed by Corin Hardy. Uh, I'm not too familiar with this director. However, I like the story and it was written by James Wan. So obviously it was going to be good. It was going to be creepy and scary. So all in all, a very entertaining horror movie, but not quite as good as, as its predecessors. So I'm going to give The Nun a solid B-. minus. So if you guys have seen The Nun, uh, let me know your thoughts down below. So, um, thanks again for tuning in and if you did enjoy my review of The Nun, please leave a thumbs up, you know, share this video, leave a comment and do subscribe so you don't miss my future videos. So, until next time guys, ciao! Ooh, she's coming for you!